Greetings, today I'll be showing you my short video presentation about my thesis. So, let's get started. First, let us start with the question, what is mitosis? Mitosis, categorized as an equational type of cellular division, refers to the sequence of the events which leads to the division of a single parent cell that results to two identical daughter cells with diploid number of chromosomes. You can refer to the image on the right to see how mitosis works. It's primarily occurring in the somatic cells of the body, commonly referred to as body cells. Mitosis is intended for growth and development and replacement of cells. Prior to mitosis, in order to prepare the cell for cellular division, the cell undergoes interphase where growth phases such as G1 and G2 and the synthesis and replication of DNA material occurs. To have a better understanding of how the cell prepares for mitosis, here is a clip showing how the preparation occurs. Mitosis is divided into four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Let us now tackle the first stage of mitosis, which is prophase. Prophase marks the first phase of mitosis. During this stage, the chromosomes become more condensed, making it easier to be separated later on. The duplicated chromosomes pair up to form two identical chromatids, which gives them the iconic X shape. The mitotic spindle, which serves as the skeleton of the cell, starts to form during this phase, which arrange the chromosomes and help them shift around during mitosis. Next is metaphase. The metaphase is the second stage of mitosis. This is where the chromosomes align horizontally along the equator of the cell. An important thing to note here is that the mitotic spindle arises from the late prophase, or also called from metaphase, not from the metaphase itself. After metaphase is anaphase. Characterized as the shortest phase of mitosis, the anaphase is where sister chromatids are disjointed and pushed to opposite ends of the cell by the mitotic spindle. Follows anaphase is telophase. This is the final phase of mitosis. The cell division is almost done. There are now two sets of chromosomes located at each cell pole. The mitotic spindle is broken apart. The cell regains its normal structures. By referring to the image, you can really see that the cell is turning into two new cells. But as you look closer, they're still not completely separated. That is where cytokinesis comes to play. Cytokinesis wraps as the cellular division as the cytoplasm divides and separates, hence forming two separate daughter cells. After that, there are now two identical daughter cells from a single parent cell, indicating that mitosis has finished. Here is a short clip summarizing how mitosis unfolded. That's all for today. I hope you liked and learned something new from my short presentation. If you would like to know more about related concepts, you can visit my Wix website below in the description. Thank you for watching.